more than 20 people have been reportedly killed and 27 injured in a feud between farmers and herders in Lafia, Obi, and Aiwe local government areas of Nansarawa state. It was learned that killing, which is renewed hostility between the farmers and herders in the area, had the first attack on Friday morning and continued all to Monday night. According to Daily Trust, a source said at least 5,000 farmers across 12 communities have been displaced as a result of the attacks in the three local government areas. Some of those who sustained injuries were said to be currently receiving treatment at hospitals in the Obi, Lafia, and Awi local government areas. Confirming the incident, the Police Public Relations Officer, Nasara State Command, ASP, Rahan Nase, affirmed that a complaint was made on Friday. He, however, put the figure of the disease at eight persons. The Nasara State President of TV Development Association, TID, Mr. Peter Ahamba, who spoke on the independent on the development said that over 20 corpses of his kinsmen were recovered across the 12 affected communities the in the three local government areas of the state this included Chabo, Dara, Tese, Ayakeke, Kayo, Chiha, and uh, Haiga Jo, Hayaba, and Uba. Over 5,000 persons have been displaced and are taking refuge in Ubi and Aquatash towns while some of them have relocated to their relatives in Lafia, local government area of the state. Many are still missing in the bush, and we don't know whether they are alive or dead. TV people did not do anything that would warrant this attack, he noted. He called on both the state and the federal government to deploy security operatives to the affected areas to restore law and order. Meanwhile, Governor Adlai Sule on Monday disclosed that his administration had launched a manhunt of the killers of Fulani headers and TV farmers in the state of at the weekend. He said that his administration would protect the life and property of citizens in the state, asserting that their community leaders should avoid making claims to give wrong impression within and outside the state. There was needless loss of lives of our citizens. Such acts of violence is most unfortunate, condemnable and unacceptable and will and will not be condoned by this administration. I am admissioning, admissioning you all to live in peace with one another to shun mischief makers looking for opportunities to cause mayhem. Relief materials will be sent to displaced persons and government will work with all stakeholders to ensure that they return to their communities and businesses as soon as possible, he added. Okay. <laughs> Let all those in charge of security in Nigeria resign or be sacked. Their tenure have expired because of the situa situation that is above mentioned. They are understanding. Just last week, all the government officials in Bukuna Faso resigned because they don't have solution to the security challenges confronting their country. <laughs> that cannot be uh, that cannot be done in Nigeria. I guess they are trying to reduce their population. If those killed and displayed in Southern Kaduna, Benue, Plateau, Borenu did not get justice, then Nasara should expect should not expect any justice. 
this country has aspired. My greetings goes to ESN for the great work they are doing in Biafra land. A, a fertile area of land, our villagers do not farm for about two years, decades, because of the fear of Fulani herdsmen, terrorists. We have, we have cultivated this past raining season. All indigenous people in Nigeria need protection. These are reactions by Nigerians and they are still talking. Before the clash will stop, it will be more than 20,000 in the name of Buhari. What goes around comes around, not is bleeding. Now, wow, humans are no more valued in this country because they don't pay their tax. God bless Buhari for a good job. So, Kanu's excellent spirit strong like this, you don't even know what is hitting up the killings in the north. As far as it is not a Christian or infidel that, that is the president, not won't bother much on, on this. Just like that, as if they are not humans. It matter to them. Life does not matter again in Nigeria. God bless Buhari Odoguan of condolence message. This is Nigeria for you and Nigeria to save lives. We need good governance, good health and infrastructure. Government should come to rescue. They vow to protect the life and property of the country. Okay, now, I think every Nigeria has a role in saving its country. Whether you are APC, PDP or none, it does not matter. We all know the country is in trouble. We may disagree on how to solve it, but we just have to find lasting solution. These are some reactions by some Nigerians who have reacted to this comment, to this news. I beg your pardon. I'm dropping it here. What's your take concerning these killings every now and then in Nigeria? It's getting out of hand. The question is, how do we get out from this mess? I'm dropping it here. Let's hear from you. Don't forget to give us thumbs up. Also share your view below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.